Hello, good day. It's Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Hello, it is Thanksgiving week in America, and I will only be doing one podcast this week, and that is today. So I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful week. I will be back again next Tuesday. Today, the moon is still in Scorpio. It's preparing to move out um, for tomorrow. And there will be a new moon tomorrow on November 23rd. And as of right now, the sun early this morning transited into Sagittarius, which is home of the horse, the centaur, or the arrow, the archer. Because it is the last fire sign of the year, it is a mutable fire sign. So Sagittarius people are usually very athletic, enthusiastic, very honest, uh, can be blunt at times, but that's kind of why I like them. Cause you know where you stand at all times with them. They're great athletes. Some of my best friends have been Sagittarius's. Um, great athletes, super fast, um, great team player. Um, also very enthusiastic, but of course the downside of that is the other, you know, where they're not enthusiastic and of course they have to learn to balance that in this lifetime. But overall Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of giving and is very optimistic. It brings with it a big view of the world, a big view vision of the world, um, long-term view. And since it's a fire sign, it has the heat, it has the energy, and it's mutable, so it's able to change its mind. Unlike a Leo who has a fixed mind, uh, Sagittarius people can go with the flow a lot better. And, uh, and they also like to travel because of it. They like to learn new cultures. They also like higher learning. Jupiter rules higher learning, um, like the Supreme Court, for instance. And so Jupiter here is ushering the holiday season, the season of giving, which is what Jupiter is giving, giving, right? And when we give here, we don't expect anything in return. It's unconditional giving, unconditional love, and it's and right before Christmas time, it turns into Capricorn. So Sagittarius brings us right into the holidays to the end of the year, and then we get into Capricorn, where we start thinking about next year and planning for next year with Saturn's rule, right? So today, uh, the sun being in Sagittarius ushers in a whole new lightheartedness until December 21st. And it is, um, helps us to uh, shift our need from intimate connection with the person, project, or ourselves to the desire to reach out to the world and connect with something larger than ourselves. A lot of people might be traveling right now, uh, learning about new cultures, could be going overseas, could be going to a new country, uh, could be just traveling around and learning new things. And that's what this period of time is for. But also this is right when uh, sicknesses occur because Jupiter also, makes everything bigger and more enhanced. So do take care of yourself. You know, as you're out and about and hanging out with people, make sure you drink lots of water, take aspirin, take what you need to fight those germs. Uh, although we, we may be prone to overdoing our expectations, we have the opportunity to nurture our faith, hope, and vision during this cycle. And Jupiter also rules, um, used to rule over Pisces before Neptune was discovered. So a lot of times these types of feelings, the giving, the expansiveness of the mind all come together as Sagittarius heads into, heads us into the end of the year. 
Um, we are definitely happier here with Sagittarius in terms of we're not as deeply probing to people's psyche as much. We, or, or our own psyche as much. We are more um, outward looking, projecting our feelings outward. So also tomorrow, a uh, big thing happens. Jupiter wakes up from its long nap in Pisces. And this has been going on since July 28th. We've been in a state of flux. Uh, motivational blocks will start to be lifted. Uh, clearing the path ahead, according to cafeastrology.com. And so gradually, we will start to move forward again instead of meandering around. Uh, we'll have more faith. Uh, we'll believe more. And this occurs, the moon is going to leave Scorpio 316 Eastern Time. And then it heads into Sagittarius when it's a new moon. So the new moon is when we plant seeds of intention. We hope and work hard so that in six months from now, we reap the rewards of the full moon in Sagittarius. So we are gaining confidence as Jupiter moves forward and the new moon is in Jupiter also. The sun is in Jupiter, Venus and Mars and Mercury, no, not Mars, Venus and Mercury are in Sagittarius. So basically in Sagittarius starting today is um, the sun is in Sagittarius. Venus is in Sagittarius. Mercury is in Sagittarius. And tomorrow the moon, the new moon moves into Sagittarius. And during that time tomorrow, Jupiter will wake up in Pisces since it's been napping for a long time. And it will stay here in Pisces until the end of December. Then it moves back into Aries, where it had started before. So basically, we are going to feel all kinds of positive energy with Sagittarius here. And now the Jupiter, the rural Sagittarius is awake, and it's awake in Pisces. The land where Jupiter used to rule. So it's happy to go here and visit again. So on that day, the new moon... We can advance, focus on goals that will increase our understanding and awareness, give us the courage to expand our horizons and gain confidence. Um, before we got lost in details and struggled in mundane stuff, which we all have to do, practical part of life exists, right? So now we're gonna be able to um, uh, be able to think outward and dream and it's a time when we can focus on some of the constructive traits of the sign of the archer optimism enthusiasm adventure honest outspoken independent and consider how to positively incorporate these into our lives well i find that during the holidays it's a lot easier to be happy, uh, especially when you think about children uh, or finding that inner child in you, since it's a fire sign here. Uh, the fire signs have an inner child in them that comes out, especially with another fire sign. The sun is in another fire sign, right? So today you're gonna feel all that. The sun's super happy, Leos are happy, Aries are happy. So you're gonna feel very enthusiastic and childlike. And it really feeds into the energy of the whole week, which is um, as we head into the end of November, we head into the hearts, in uh, the cards that are heart cards, which are innocent uh, children and people that are born hearts are they're very childlike and um, and you can tell when you hang around with them, they'll laugh like a kid and uh, they'll act like a kid, can't help that. And all fire signs are kind of guilty of acting like kids. 
Uh, but right now, especially with Sagittarius, it's the last fire sign of the year. Uh, it's very adventurous and curious and nonstop and outspoken. So it's so childlike. And the people here, I mean, I love them because I'm a fire sign, but not everyone can handle their bluntness and uh, they can also get bored easily because they want to learn so many things quickly. Um, that way they're a little bit like Aries. Uh, so because Sagittarius thinks in big terms, we may have a tendency to overdo our expectations. So that's the downside of Jupiter is uh, being so enthusiastic, they don't look before they leap, they leap. And that's again a fire sign. Fire signs have that in common. Um, so when Jupiter turns direct in Pisces also tomorrow, it is going to wake up our love of romance and, um, and also our love of giving and unconditional love to people. Uh, because again, Pisces is a big uh, people, um, generational card, generational sign that rules over many things. And so we're going to really get into the season of giving and caring about humanity and caring about people, caring about kids, uh, wanting to help people, volunteering. Um, so that that lasts for a while this season. And as we head into Neptune season, you'll want to give more also. So this is just how it's going to be. And it feeds into the day's cards, the season of giving, like I said, with the hearts. And the card today is the Jack of Heart, which is a fixed card. And it is the Jesus card, the young, the young Jesus, the young man. Um, and he's fixed and he's very emotionally immature. He's a baby. Uh, he loves his being with his mom. Um, he's a sweetheart, uh, but it's easy to spoil him because he's so sweet or she's so sweet. It's ruled by the two of hearts and Mars. So they're very um, popular with people, especially men, because they are very loving and giving and wanting to be a partner with somebody. And their Pluto card is the Two of Diamond. Um, and that is the win-win card. So in this lifetime, because they're so fixed, they have to learn to find their partner in life and learn that you need other people um, to respect and love you. Not to just use and abuse or have them do everything for you because it's easy, you know, like a prince would, a prince. And then tomorrow's cards, when all everything shifts, it's a ten of heart ruled by its uh, Jupiter card, the Ace of Diamond. So the ten of heart again, we're talking about groups of people. We're getting near Thanksgiving holiday, and the Ace of Diamond saying all these new things you're getting, all these new ideas you have for your get together are going to be blessed. And then Thanksgiving Day is the Nine of Heart, the card of unconditional love and giving and letting go. And it's ruled by its Jupiter card, the Ten of Club, which is the card of uh, people coming together and talking and hanging out. Then Friday will be the Eight of Heart, Ten of Club. Oh, wait, Thanksgiving is the Nine of Heart, Jack of Club. And that speaks of young people. You're going to have a lot of people around and entertain and talk, and that's the Jack of, Jack of Club. And then Friday is the Eight of Heart, Ten of Club, and that's a great day to, uh, to hang out, have more parties, have more get together, go out. Eight of Heart is the card of love. Uh, just be careful not to bully each other. And then Saturday, Seven of Heart, Nine of Club. So Saturday will be the card of unconditional love and spiritual love and it's jupiter card is the mind expansiousness nine of club card so be open to new ideas on saturday and expand your mind let go of negativity then sunday's the six of heart eight of club and that's the card of the karma love six is all karma 
in the Ada Club means focus, um, maintain steadiness at all costs, and you'll get through any type of karma you may have in this life. And then Monday is the Five of Hearts, Seven of Club, and that is the card of changing of your heart, changing of what you like, and it's blessed with the Seven of Club, having faith and belief that things will work out for you. And then I will be back on Tuesday, the 29th. It'll be a four heart, six o'clock day. The card of the messenger um, to the and the heart of the home. So today, let's see who's born that I recognize on this jack of heart, two of heart, two of diamond. These people are gonna be lovable, adorable people. Should be very successful. Mary Jackson, 1910, 2005 TV actress. Joe Nance, 44 TV actor. Michael T. Neff Williams, 1966, 2021. He just passed away. God bless him. Julia Rewald, 26 movie actor. Uh, Vinnie Morrow, 28 drummer. Um, let's see where my Billy Jean King, 78, tennis player fame. Molly Jackson, 20, TV actress. Uh, Michael D. Cohen, 46, TV actor. Um, Emerson Barrett, 25, another drummer. Wow, lots of drummers. It's good for the Jack of Heart. It's uh, something that you like to do as a kid, so you can do it as a job now, right? Mads Mickelson, 56, TV actor. I've seen him around a lot. I didn't know his name was Mads. Juju Smith-Schuster, 25, football player. Ali Kavaho, 21, voice actors of, uh, um, uh, shoot, the, movie, the little cartoon of Hawaii. Can't think of it right now. Um, let's see. What's it called? Moana. What's it? Moana. I love that. Love that TV cartoon movie. Jamie Lee Curtis, 63, movie actress. Mark Ruffalo, 54, movie actor. Catherine McNamara, 26, movie actress. And Dakri Montgomery, 27, movie actor. Jamie Campbell Bauer, 33, movie actor. Um, he's the bad guy in Stranger Things that, you know, that turns into that creature and, you know. Scarlett Johansson, 37, movie actress. Haley Bieber, 25, model, daughter of Stephen um, Baldwin, married to Bieber, Justin Bieber. Baby Ariel, 21, TV actress. Wow. So there we go. Popular day, the Jack of Heart. You can't resist the Jack of Heart. I mean, think Johansson just had a baby. So that's it for today. I will be back next Tuesday. Enjoy the week. Enjoy all the all the sporting events that are on this week. That's all part of Sagittarius season. I know football, soccer, which is very controversial right now because of where it is and you know same thing happened with the pyramids way back then how they were built right all sorts of things happen in the world and we try to stop it and we really can't stop everything we can only try to help and do what we can right um so just take it easy rest and god bless you happy thanksgiving Enjoy yourself, and I'll be back next Tuesday, okay? Uh, enjoy your family. There could be a little bit of nging on Sunday. Just take it easy, okay? Thank you. I appreciate you. Peace.